Hey there. Are you out of quarters? Well, then if you don't mind, can I take over your game? wasn't fast enough. Oh well. You got pretty far though. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get that far. Well, besides me, of course. Of course I've gotten that far. Look at all the top scores. Those first five places are all mine. At least, they used to be. Looks like you've knocked some of my names off. You better put your initials in. You've earned it. Third place. Not too shabby, player. So do you mind if I ask what those initials stand for? That's a nice thing. I know it seems strange, but putting in my initials was always one of my favorite parts of these arcade games. Like a badge of honor, or something. By the way, I saw you win the jackpot on the tower tickets. You gave it all to some random kid. That was a nice thing to do. I kept my eye on you ever since. So tell me, player, what brings you to town? Of course you're from out of town. This isn't your first time in an arcade, and I definitely would have noticed you before now. I work here, you see, so I know all the regulars. Okay, well, I was going to take my turn on this game, but since you're new here, I'll show you around. That one over there, that's Dragon Quest. It's one of my favorites. Not for its gameplay, but for the technical achievements. When most old games look like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, that old boy was using laser disc technology to give the illusion of controlling a cartoon. It made quite an impression. Over in that corner, where we have our golden oldies, Mrs. Pac-Man, the aforementioned Donkey Kong, Centipede, Hubert, and of course, Chow. Over there, we have Pinball Alley. We have some licensed machines based on movies and such, but in my opinion, if you've played one pinball machine, you've played Ah, over there we have Fight Club, Mortal Kombat 2, Street Fighter 2, and one of our most popular, Soul Calibur 6. The female characters in that game have a certain, let's call it, uh, gravity defying appeal. But let's move Beat em up Boulevard, my personal favorite. Over here we have X Men, Captain America, The Avengers, Turtles in Time, the original Double Dragon, and Final Fight. We have a lot of ticket games scattered around for the younger crowd Ski Ball, Whack a Mole, Tower Ticket. You already played that one. We also have a crane game over there, but uh, come here. I'll tell you a secret. The 
I do like seeing people win once in a great while. More often than not, the only ones who play it are people on dates, trying to win something for their sweetheart. It's the same reason we keep the ticket games. People try and win enough for a date prize. And I have to admit, it's a sweet gesture. If you're ever hungry, the snack bar has soda, pizza, nachos, hot dogs. So if you want something fancy, you're in the wrong place. Although I guess if you wanted to get creative, you could make a nacho dog or a hot dog pizza. Blech. You know what? Never mind. Just stick. And that concludes the tour. Thank you for your patronage. As a token of my appreciation, I would like to offer you tokens. Since you're out of quarters, I'll provide you with a complimentary five dollars worth. What's it gonna be, player? What are you gonna play now with your newfound wealth? The same game. You're gonna try and knock off all of my scores, huh? Well, good luck. Hmm, you've spent half of your tokens and you still haven't gotten any further. Are you sure you don't want to play something else? Are you sure? I do have one more game. One I can almost guarantee you've never played before. Yes, really. We don't keep it on the floor. It's something of a VIP experience. We only let advanced players take a crack at it. And you definitely qualify. So what do you say, player? Interested? Well, if you're scared, I won't force you. I'll let you get back to your game. Oh, so you are interested. Good. I knew you would be. Follow me. This game is called Polybius. Oh, you've heard of it. Excellent. But I'm willing to bet what you've heard is wrong. According to the urban legend, this game was made by the CIA. It was a part of their MK Ultra mind control experiment. And they used it to plant subliminal messages in the average player. For those more mm, susceptible to suggestion, 
it was rumored that the CIA could reprogram their thoughts, make them see things and hear things that weren't there. Eventually, they were driven to kill whoever the voices direct them to. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was a secret government operative, then programming some random person to kill a target would be the perfect crime. Wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Of course, I'm not a government operative player. I'm just a working girl in a random arcade in small town USA. But enough history. Put in your token and let's see how far you can get. As you can see, it's a combat strategy. You take control of a small band of commandos, and you have to fight off guerrilla fighters who are trying to wipe out the small jungle village. At the beginning of each level, the guerrillas offer you a bribe to quit and advance a level. Are you going to take it or help the villagers? You're going to help them. Good. Keep an eye on the timer at the top of the screen, though. Don't let it run out. Get the item. Not bad, player. You beat the first level. That's one village safe. Admit it. You weren't sold on this game at first, were you? No, no, it's okay. None of us ever are. But there's something intuitive about Polybus. Something that pulls at you to keep playing. It's kind of hard to explain to someone who hasn't ever experienced it. But mark my words, you can stand here for hours and play. In fact, I have. Careful, you're losing commandos. Get cover. The bad guys are going to try and flank you. Retreat. Get that health. Uh-oh. You're backed into a corner. You're down to your last guy. They've pushed you back to the village. Oh, too bad, player. The gorillas have captured the village. Do you have any more tokens? No? Well, I'm sorry, but I can't give you any more. But you should come back when you have more money. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't tell anyone about this game. I mean it. If you do... Well, let's just say it would be better if you didn't. So promise me, okay? 
Good. Let me walk you out. All right, player, you're back in the arcade, and I have to get back to work, so I'll see you around, okay? <laughs> you're right. I didn't tell you my name. Bye-bye, player. Hey, you're back. I was hoping I'd see you again, but I didn't think it would be so soon. So what's up? You want to take another crack at beating my high score? You want to talk in private? Sure, come on back. Everything okay? No. Why not? Yes, I've seen the news. What does that have to do with anything? You saw on the news that a small commando group was wiped out by terrorists. And they wiped out an entire village. That's awful. If only there was something we could do about it. Is this game real? Well, I suppose that depends on your definition of real, doesn't it, player? Polybius can be touched. It can be smelled. I suppose it could be tasted, but I'm not about to let you lick any of my game caps. Yes, I know what you mean. And the short answer is yes. This game is all too real. I don't know how. I don't know why. Some people are police officers who either stop the bad guys or hurt innocent people. Sometimes it's a game like SimCity. You can make prosperous towns or make shady deals to line your pockets at the expense of everyone else. Or you're leading a group of commandos who can neither turn on the villagers for a handsome reward or fight them off. Sorry, player. 
I didn't mean to drag you into this, but you definitely have the skill, and when I saw you give your tickets to that kid, I assumed you weren't a psycho. And we need people like that. Yes, we. There are lots of us who play Polybus. And not all of them are the kind who give away their tickets. Some are the kind who do very bad things. I mean, you obviously watch the news. Is it really so hard to believe? Some of us who play try and do good, and others well, like I said, this game is real. If you do something that gets you money in the game, you get money in real life. If you do something that helps someone in the game, they get help in real life. I really hope I haven't misjudged you. Because now that you've played, you have to keep on playing. I don't understand how, but you'll find Polybus out there in the real world. At a gas station, in the grocery store. I've even seen one in a city park. You'd think that some random person playing an arcade game in the middle of a park would stand out, but no one noticed me. Truth be told, I don't think they could even see me. I don't know where this game came from, but it sure as hell wasn't the CIA. Sorry, player, but Polybus isn't here anymore. Look, if you want to play more, then just start walking. You'll find it eventually. Here, five more dollars and tokens. And my phone number. Keep in touch, okay? And one more piece of advice. Every iteration of Polybus has a timer. Never, never run out of time. Ever. Kill yourself if you have to, but don't ever let that timer reach zero. If you do, Time's up. Game over.